Hey everybody, this is Ed Casper. Our company's called Casper Ag Solutions and we're out in the shop again today. And what we're talking about today is a good way to check the depth of your row unit uh, without having to go outside. Now if you look back on my YouTube history, maybe five or six years ago, we had uh, a planter of mine out on a uh, hard concrete surface. We had the entire 24 rows set down on some 4x4s and we went in and, and slid some washers underneath checking our depth on each row. Well, that's great, but I, don't, I had to drive over to the neighbors to do that because I don't have that much flat concrete where I can open up and, and do my thing. So I learned this little trick from a customer of mine, a friend of mine named John Coots up in Wisconsin. And uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota guys, they figure out how to get things done inside their shop because it's uh, winter eight months of the year and, and uh, so you gotta be creative and make the most of your time. So what I did is took a uh, floor jack, found a flat piece of steel and some four by fours. I jack up the row unit so my parallel arms are pretty close to level. Now your four by fours, they're actually three and a half inches. So I'm a, I'm a big spender. I spend about 25 cents on a inch and a half piece of uh, threaded pipe. So what you do, you know, your inch and a half and three and a half, that leaves you two inches. So we slide this underneath and we want the disc openers to be set on top of this uh, inch and a half threaded pipe. So when we get that, that means we found our two inch planting depth. And important thing to do, once you find that planting depth that you want, take a paint stick and mark exactly where it's at. That way if the kids come in and change things or move things, you, um, you don't lose where you're at. And who knows, you might get out the plant and the moisture is another quarter inch or a half inch down. You'll know exactly where to be and where to come back to your two inch marking. So that's a good, quick, easy way to do it inside the shop. It saves you some time because once the weather gets nice, you, you want to be going, uh, get you a chance to get it done in the shop. Uh, another thing we've learned, and we learned this from the precision planting guys. Um, I was one of the presenters at the precision booth down at the Randy Dowdy, David Hula, the Next Level Planter Clinic. And I don't know why I didn't think of this, but you can go get one of these crane scales off of Amazon. And I think I got this delivered to me for 40 bucks. And I took a pipe that I already had. Again, I'm a big spender, so I went to Menards and spent about a buck on this threaded hook. We put that in, hook it up, and we lift our row unit because what we want to do is we want to find how many pounds it takes to lift that row unit for each notch. Now you might be wondering to yourself, okay Ed, which notch is the right notch for me to be in? I have no idea. I don't farm your ground. I don't know what conditions you're in, what kind of spring it's been. That part I don't know, but what I do know is we want to be as consistent as we can across the width of this planter. You know, we don't want notch one on row 24 to be 55 pounds and have notch one on row 23 be 25 pounds because something's broke or something's not right. Maybe the T-handle was put in backwards. You'd be surprised what you find. So it's just another good, easy, cheap way to calibrate that row unit inside your heated shop if you have one. And even if you don't, you can get outside and do it that way. But uh, just trying to share some knowledge with you guys that I've learned from other people to uh, get your uh, row unit set up and, and ready for action come spring. So as always, thanks for watching. Give me a call if you got any questions. It's 309-208-0117. And you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, you know, all the normal social media outlets. So thanks for watching and um, we'll talk to you soon.